819 is your time right now. A Missouri man convicted of killing a six year old girl back in 2005 is set to be executed tonight at six. And yesterday, Governor Mike Parson denied Johnny Johnson's clemency request. Fox News Laura Simon is joining us. She's in Clayton this morning with a look at the case that made St. Louis headlines for years. Laura. John and Blair Johnny Johnson is set to be executed tonight by lethal injection for the 2002 death of six year old Casey Williamson. This is a case that has shocked the St. Louis area for years and all these years later. We want you to take a close look at your screen because this is the last family photo of Casey Williamson. It was taken 36 hours before her brutal death. She was singing songs on a Wednesday night at church when this photo was taken. Johnson kidnapped a little girl from her home in Valley Park on July 26, 2002. He was 24 years old at the time. He murdered her inside of an abandoned glass factory along the Merrimack River after she fought back against his attempt to rape her. After a massive search, Casey's body was found in a pit less than a mile from her home buried beneath rocks and debris. Last week marked the 21st anniversary of Casey Williamson's disappearance and death. The judge who sentenced Johnson back in 2005 told the court it was perhaps the most heinous crime he had ever presided over. Johnson's attorneys have asked the U.S. Supreme Court to stop the execution. They also asked Governor Mike Parson reduce Johnson's sentence to life in prison, claiming he is mentally incompetent. A three-judge panel halted Johnson's execution last week, but the Missouri Supreme Court and Federal Appeals Court overturned that ruling over the weekend, allowing the execution to move forward tonight in Bonterre. Our Mandy Murphy has interviewed Casey's mom, Angie, several times over the years, and just last week, the mother of four sat down with Mandy to talk about how Johnson, who was once a family acquaintance, has taken a toll on their lives forever. Angie's oldest daughter, Chelsea, was 12 at the time of Casey's death and she died of an overdose back in 2015. Johnny not only took one daughter from me, but two, because eight years ago we lost my oldest daughter. She was never able to accept life after losing her sister. She figured out at a young age how to numb her pain and we lost her at 23 years old. Casey's mother, Angie, plans to be in Bonterre tonight to witness the execution. Anti-death penalty protests are also planned across the state, including in downtown St. Louis. That starts at 3 this afternoon outside of the Carnahan Courthouse on Market and Tucker. This will be the fourth execution in the state of Missouri so far this year and the 16th nationally. Reporting live here in Clayton this morning, Laura Simon, Fox 2 News. All right.